some of Deanna's famous. <laughs> Who's Josh C? Are we vlogging right now? What is that? I, I don't think, know, man. I think it was better last time, but it has. Like, had... This is a banana bread? What do I think about this bread? Yeah. I imagine royalty dreams of eating like this. Oh. This is the kind of this is the kind of meals they would uh, pay any amount of money for. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is what it's like. We just got uh, we did some kind of interview today. It was pretty fun. I think maybe it's not supposed to be publicized yet, so we'll keep that. Secret. You mind telling us where we're headed, Daniel? I believe we're heading to a place called. Hanamuna, Hanamuana, Hanamuana Bay. Towards the road to Hana. If you know Maui, it's on the North Shore. It's between Ho'okipa and Hana. It's like one of the main big rocky, black rock beaches. I'm looking for the, I'm looking to find the sweet spots of riding the waves of the energy of life. Whether that's in the form of surfing and or talking and or breathing and or kissing and or itching mosquito bites. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, so I'm out. <laughs> All right. Tim Tim. All right, see ya. Goodbye. <laughs> And the things are getting red again, Timothy. Does that mean we're about to run out of memory again? Yeah, I'll just say real quick before we run out that anyone who's dealing with a sickness, it's that time of year, it seems like, I would just encourage you to fully surrender. You don't know, why don't you paint it every second? We can continue on here if you'd like. So, uh, yeah, if you're feeling sick, feeling down, whatever, just I would encourage you to fully surrender to that and rest. Your body is probably asking you to rest and don't fight it. Just uh, if you need to take three or four days out just to rest and be easy, be easy and rest. And then God will take care of the rest. Yeah, it's miraculous the built in features. It's, to me, it's a bit like a check engine light when something like that happens. You don't necessarily, you're not going to. Hey, and I'll give some uh, shout out to my friend Mike Krastowski actually because I think I saw this one on his Facebook post and I thought it resonated really well with me. But you're not going to hate on the uh, check engine light. You're going to think like, oh wow, thank goodness I have this check engine light. It might save my car. I, I might be able to do something right now, have a bit of an intervention, and bring the health back to this vehicle rather than pushing it past its capacity and running it into the ground. You can actually make it stronger than it was before that check engine light came on. So check your check engine lights. And if you know what to do, loop, loop yourself in the right places. Especially these clear days, I'm still we're going towards that way in a clear day. See here. There he is. You're on. You're on the vlog. What up? Make it look epic. Look what you man. You're like a Fusion Fit ambassador. <laughs> wow. Got the tank and top and everything. Yeah. You want the yeah, last here. bite of uh, the mono bread? Oh, dude, I would love some. We'll hang out. Mm -hmm. If you go, there's a river right in the back there. I met someone that seems like they're gonna take care of him as far as uh, finding places. Yeah, I, I really, even on a more expansive or inclusive scale, it, it comes back to like. The fastest way for me to think about what to figure out what you think about yourself is how you talk about others. And I was saying was that I don't know if it'll ever I don't know if I've ever met anyone or I've ever come to a place where I completely let go of comparison. Like I find myself comparing myself to other people's bodies, and I find myself comparing girls' bodies to Diana's body. And I but the comparison doesn't have to necessarily mean there's anything that it's a lack of love on my part. So if you fall in love with someone's body where they're at and that's like what you want to hold on to, that's different than just loving them unconditionally where their body's at. Um, did that make sense? Was that a good recap? Or did I think that, that was great. Did that yeah. get a little more heady? That was good. Covered the bases. Um, Logan, can you film me real quick? <laughs> you whenever you're ready, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm embarrassed right now um, because I just felt uh, basically jealous <laughs> that uh, Logan asked Daniel to say whatever he said again. 
uh, so you can get on camera. And now I had to ask Logan myself to film me while I said that. <laughs> but uh, you know, I just uh, I've made a commitment to myself, and I made a commitment to God that whenever there's an opportunity to to humble myself by expressing what I would consider spiritual sin, um, I will do that. So here I am, and I want to share that with everyone watching this video as well. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, that's great. I'll add to that too, even if Logan asked me or not. Um, <laughs> I just want to say that I, I'm going to honor Timothy for not because he's seeking attention, not because, and that's fine. I think we're all seeking attention, not because of that, because then I might even be less likely to give it to him. But that's for the only reason. But I want to actually honor him for uh, keeping that commitment. He's really good at that commitment of inspiring others to be vulnerable, because in my opinion, the world's starving for that. We're hungry for vulnerability. So Timothy, thank you for feeding us. Thank you for the opportunity. Frank J, you got anything? <laughs> Are you feeling jealous? No, no, it wasn't at all. Great. I was actually tuning out a bit because uh, I am not feeling well physically mm. right now. Uh, you a car sick? sickness? No, I don't know. I don't know. I was feeling like this before I got into the car. Mm. I'm just I'm aware of what I'm feeling in my body. I just Feel a bit weird. Every time I've been in this area, it's been like. Case mine have opened this? It's all. It's all. It's hard to tell, just waiting for that wave to come. Mm. We'll be able to tell here in a second. There must be something special with the surfers out. Mm. It's a pretty isolated area. Nice. Uh, actually, yeah. If you wouldn't mind, uh, I'm doing that one. You don't have to do it on completely. Just just, uh, like that. Loosen it, untie it. Yeah. yeah. New spot. I'm always a little bit more timid when surfing a new spot. You just never know what the bottom's like. Uh, looks like there's definitely some rocks out there and what the local vibe is going to be like. Looking forward to watching you. Nice little cuts. Like real, something, whatever was on that rock must have been like a little sharp. Oh yeah. Really, really just, a little barnacle or it something. It almost looks like a baby. Like mm. I just uh, peed on my wound. And how does it feel now? Well, I, I know that um, a lot of times 
Oh yeah, there's. You can, you can tell my finger. Look at that. This, this thing, some of it's pretty sharp out there. Yeah. But anyways, um, I can pee on that too when I get some more here. <laughs> it's a nice wave. Um, it was pretty good. It felt cleansing. It actually felt uh, like it was, I was supposed to do that. Nice. And the cool thing is, oh, you got some acidic water. Yeah, we got some uh, nice acidic that. water, 2.5. It's uh, antibacterial, it kills everything, it sterilizes everything. It's good to uh, keep your wounds clean in Hawaii, from my perspective. If you saw our vlog a few days ago, we were talking about the machine that we have that produces that and it's electrolyzed reduced Ooh. water. If you're interested, oh, I feel it. Yeah. Ten all in at you can email ten all in at gmail.com to learn how to get one. If you want to do the international tribe design in Byron Bay, for April fourth to the eighth. We're about to potentially finalize those dates. You could make the deciding factor. Do you really want to come and only one of those dates work? We might just organically uh, make it those dates. It's been a great idea. I just want to thank everyone that's reached out to us. Uh, it's like we use it's for people that haven't heard from in a while. They kind of reach back out to us. So the video blogging must evoke some more personality in these, or something more personal, like you're with us. And in a way, you are. In a way, you are. In a way, you are. We were talking about this last night. How literally your computer is is an extension of what you're focusing on. Because with search engine optimization, with the personalized news feeds. With YouTube personalizing, the law of attraction, all literally, the yeah. law of attraction. I know it's becoming and more and more real. It's the too. craziest mm -hmm. crap. Like my, I just keep being my my world keeps expanding with like all these athletic, flexible, like inspiring, enlightening, and, and like amazing nature. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I have a feeling certain people I know they their computers don't look the same <laughs> at all, not at all. It's so true, man. It's amazing. Yeah, it's kind of like. The people you surround yourself in, the environment that you find yourself in, is is kind of co-creates who you are. And same for the for the internet. It's like yeah, it's like where your energy go, where your attention goes, energy flows, and what you're focusing on grows. With the computer, it's literally expanding what we're focusing on to a whole different level than we've ever experienced before as humans, I believe. So mm -hmm. congratulations, welcome to the world of what we're in. Ask yourself, what are you focusing? What am I focusing on? What is creating my life? If you want to know, check your Facebook newsfeed. <laughs> yeah. It's probably pretty. It's probably pretty indicative. Right. Yeah. I just think it's cool that people are whoever's finding these videos. It's probably because you're interested in this type of stuff. And thank you for being interested. I am as well. And thank you for inspiring me because you're probably showing up on my newsfeed as well. It's really awesome. Yeah, at some level, I imagine everyone watching at some level were kindred spirits, where we have parts of each other that are so similar and we're interested in similar things. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we meet each other in person someday. It's almost inevitable, I feel like. Yeah, I don't think any of this is by accident, the way the world is going right now. It's true. Look at the bamboo. Half the bamboo's in the light, half of it's in the shadow. Is that? Oh, this is a better one. Yeah, are there some ones going for it, maybe? A little, yeah, it's a pool with like a little you waterfall. You can really like see the lines rolling in. It's yeah. crazy. Look at that. It's not a, it's not an issue thing. No. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know he's Shoots, bro. Wow. Oh, yeah. How is it? Twelve, fifteen, fourteen feet deep. That's deep. You hit the bottom. That's plenty deep. I'm, and after being in that water, I'm just feeling like electric. 
Like, I like fishing. Yeah. That, that water was special, man. That was, that was fresh. Yeah. yeah! Hold on, let's see what happens. That's what I'm saying, you drive down these roads and you just pull over anywhere. Anywhere! And the, I think sometimes the less obvious, the better. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was going. Well, the day's not over, but my battery life is... I would use this as a pleasant reminder that the end is the beginning. Yes. Uh, maybe when this life ends, maybe we, we wake up to a whole nother reality. And I'll just say that sometimes we feel great and powerful, sometimes we feel weak and meek. And uh, don't be afraid to express when you're feeling weak and meek. Amen. Thank you guys for the great adventure today. Thank you, Logan. You're Our welcome. cameraman's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, we have a friend. <laughs>